Hello, and we'll see. This might be a quick video. I'm hoping it's going to be a quick video. I don't have a lot to say. I just have a question more so. And this question was brought to my attention by, I don't, I'm not sure who actually runs this Twitter account, but there's a Twitter account called Watch UWA, which is, does a lot of like selling of old uh, Bill Watts' old UWA uh, merchandise and whatnot. I figure it has some association with Bill Watts, but I don't think it's Bill Watts, but anyways. Um, it might be Bill Watts, for all I know. <coughs> um, but anyways, uh, this individual, um, after the sale of Ring of Honor, and it was something I had been th thinking about for a while, and then I would think about it, and then uh, just, just it would kind of just a little bit, and I would stop thinking about it for a while. But it, it, it's a point that people... I've thought about, but not in terms of Ring of Water. I've always thought about this in terms of, of TNA, oddly enough. I've never connected the two. But with Ring of Water getting their, their somewhat TV deal, um, I think this is a this is a fair question to ask. And as we ask you guys kind of who you would see in this role, one of the things about ECW <clears throat> that made ECW kind of different was that at first people believed that Sabu was as good as anyone in WWE or or WCW and that and that he could be champion there. Then people believed that uh, believe, people believed that about Taz, people believed that about Mike Awesome, um, people that, there was a whole list of guys that people thought that wrestled in uh, ECW um, the eliminators uh, who were the, the team that they were going to build really when they when they started pay-per-view uh, kind of the shows around instead of the Dudleys but they left or parted ways and or Saturn parted ways and so or left, went to WCW and and the Dudleys went off to make history um, but the Dudleys as well you had these these acts or these people there that people believed could be in WCW or WWF at the time and my question is, 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 because I don't think so. I, I thought about this, and I really don't see anyone who, right now in Ring of Honor, with the exception of two guys, and they're not in that role yet. They may be there by the time the TV rolls around. Where you have two, where you have a guy, um, the only that you or an act a tag team. I think they have a tag team. I'll get to that in a minute. That people look at and go. And, and, and turn in to watch those guys, or turn in and in their minds think, these guys are better than anyone else I can watch on television. And while everyone says, ah, it's fake, ah, it's this and that, there is that kind of psychological delusion when you're a wrestling fan, or the psyche of, of just someone who watching pro wrestling, where you still think that, you still you have that disbelief and part of that disbelief is actually oh look there's there's this guy should be here or this guy is as good as any of these guys um, and I don't know if Ring of Honor has that right now not that they have, don't have guys that I think are better in the ring than what WWE has in particular wouldn't necessarily say TNA but WWE has and can put on better matches but guys who when people look at them actually think to themselves this guy could main event. Not that he could just wrestle there, but he could main event in WWE. I think people thought that about Samoa Joe. I think people thought that about uh, Daniel Bryan, uh, Bryan Danielson. And I think people thought that about Nigel McGuinness. Um, I think those three guys, people said, you know what, those three guys could go to WWE or, or w yeah, WWE and they could be, you know, main events in their minds and there wasn't there wasn't much thought about it. I don't know if there's anyone in TNA that or TNA into Ring of Honor that they have right now. Now they have the Briscoes and I think the Briscoes are probably their most marketable team right now. I think people who have followed Ring of Honor for a long time probably would look at it and say, well they you know this this new heel turn has kind of made them a little bit more exciting. But that, you know, maybe they're a little stale, but if you're someone who has not seen them before, they're nothing short of stale, I would say. And I, I you know, other than them, and then I would say Hero and Castanoli would be the only two guys, and if they kind of break them up and let them do single guys, I think both of those guys could be guys that people go, hey, wait a minute, why aren't these guys WWE? Why aren't these, you know, I think those two guys 
or the other two. But other than that, I think that's it. And then I started thinking about who really is out there right now that they could bring in. Um, you know, a lot of people probably place Kevin Steen, but I don't know if, if, if people would be able to look past, you know, Steven, Kevin Steen's gut and be able to say, yeah, that guy needs to be, you know, that guy would be a, a main eventer in WWE or, or TNA. And furthermore, the question is, is with Sinclair in their minds, I have no idea what they're thinking. If they're in this for the long term, are they willing, are they going to kind of, not judge Ring of Honor until they can get an acquisition um, from, or at least some guys maybe bring in from uh, TNA. Particular, I, I can't see them bringing in a guy from WWE per se. I, I just can't. I can't see. You know, you're, if you're in WWE, you're making you're making six figures. If you're in TNA, and particularly if you're a lower mid card guy, um, you know, Sinclair might be able to say, you know what, we're going to pay our guys more than what they were making, and so that they're making more than the lower card guys on TNA. And before anyone comes on here and says, can't believe you would say that, there's no way, let me tell you something. There are guys in Ring of Honor that Ring of Honor pays right now that make more than guys in TNA make. You don't believe me? Tough shit. That's the truth. You have guys on, on TNA's roster, by appearance, are only making about $500 if by appearance. Most of the women aren't even making that. Most of the women are making like $200 in appearance. So don't bring me that crap. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so if that's the case and Sinclair decides that they're going to pay guys, let's say $1,000 in appearance um, in Ring of Honor, you know, can they get some lower tier guys that people would be able to get excited about and say, hey, this guy, this guy is better than what, than what we perceived. Kind of in a way, though Tina, I think, has fucked it up now. Um, when the Pope came in, the Pope was like, oh, wow, we're finally going to be able to see what the Pope can do. We saw him in WWE. Everyone felt that WWE dropped the ball on him. Now he's going to be able to come in and we'll be able to see what he can do. Same thing with Mr. Anderson. You know, that type of thing, except I'd be able to actually capitalize on it where I don't think TNA has been able to. And bring in a guy that it looks like, you know, um, you know they may be overlooked. Well, they bring in Loki. There's a guy that they could bring in. I mean, there's a, there's a whole bunch of guys, and I'm sure that I'm asking this question of, like, who could they bring in that, pe that people could see as, you know, a main eventer. And I'm sure we'll get a lot of Noah guys. You're not going to get any Noah guys who are going to be able to come over for any long length of time. So just out of the way. I'm talking about guys in the United States. Um, you know, would you be able to, you know, who would you be able to bring in? Um Maybe MVP, though MVP doesn't seem too high, you know, going to Ring of Honor for whatever reason. Um, so that, I, I don't know if that would be adequate. But just, you know, I'm just kind of throwing this out there. Who would be a guy um, that you think could be built up from within Ring of Honor? Because nothing against Eddie Edwards. I can't see Eddie Edwards being that guy. I can't even see Davey Richards necessarily being that guy. I just, I just, in my mind, I can't see him being that type of guy. Not that they're not great, not that they can't go out there and, and wrestle their asses off and put on amazing matches. I can't necessarily, them being the guy that, um, that you kind of build the company around in the sense of, you don't have to even be a champion. I'm not even saying that, because I don't, I don't, you don't have to, you, you don't have to necessarily build your company around the champion. You can build, you know, the champion can be the champion because it's he, it's more important for him to have the belt than the guy that you kind of build the company around. And, you know, who is that guy? Is there a guy like that on the indies that they don't have? Is there a guy out there that they could bring in like that? Um, and, you know, just, 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 that's just kind of my question is, is, you know, what is the guy that, you know, kind of ring of honor needs in some of your opinion, in your opinion? Because, um, you know, like I said, they have Hero, they have Castanoli. I, I think both of those guys could maybe fit that role. Um, I think, you know, if, if by some, you know, if they could pay Kenny Omega more than what Kenny Omega makes in Japan, can't really see that happening. Um, maybe him. Um, you know, is there guys in TNA that you think that they could sign away that you think could be that guy? It could be the guy that, hey, you know, you know, that sort of thing. I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, you know, CM Punk because of the CM Punk rumors. I don't fall into the CM Punk rumors myself. If that happens, that's great, that's wonderful, that's their guy. But 
Um, it'll be just kind of, I think, interesting to see. If, because I definitely think that's kind of what they have been missing. I think that they have been trying to fill that void since uh, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson and uh, Nigel McGuinness left. And I don't think they've still yet found a guy to really fill that void. So, that void, not that they don't have guys, like I said, not that they don't have guys that go out there and put on really great matches, but you don't have a guy who you think that guy could main event, you know, in a WWE ring. That's a guy that could main event, you know, in or be a main event or a top card guy in WWF or WWE, I should say. You know, you know is there a guy like that out there that you could at least convince people that that is what he is? Because I think that's what you have to do. But anyways, that's all I wanted. So, curious what people would say, video responses, comments, whatnot. Later.